We are here at Stanford because we're excited to teach students. It's a responsibility and a gift to really have the opportunity to learn and to solve problems. And ultimately, I think that's what university is all about. Stanford has an amazing array of opportunities for students, but it can be very hard to find them and figure out the ones that are right for a particular student. And I think that's what is unique about our school and that our faculty are really engaged in that process of connecting students with opportunities that are right for them. It, you look at this and you think, this is so expensive, I can't do this. But a lot of institutions um, want to bring first-generation students and help you through the process. And so, you know, you get paid to get a PhD. And I'm first-generation. My parents did not even finish high school. That is not common knowledge among first-generation students. Any enthusiastic student who wants to come in and work in the lab group, we have projects you can work on. And we will teach you the skills that you need to then build up your capacity as a researcher. All we need students to do really is to take that first step of expressing some interest. And so there are a lot of interesting entry points for students to you know, take their own experiences and map them into this sort of new field and how they would interact with like learning about their own environments. And I think that curiosity is one way of getting to that spot. But then there's another way, which is also being driven by what community needs are. I also find that students from a diverse background come with an extreme passion about how they want to change things. They are very motivated to use data, not just from a mathematical point of view, just looking at the numbers, but also from a human point of view, that what they're going to do with the models will actually have an effect in the real world. To be able to um, integrate different kinds of data, so integrating, say, climate data with human development or human behavior data, um, allows us to understand how humans are responding to the planet and how, how the planet is changing. There's so much we still don't understand about how the Earth works, and some of that could turn out to be really important as we struggle with some of the big planetary problems we're trying to solve. Those foundational tools allow our students to go on in many different directions, and so we have students who go into government, we have students who go into NGOs in the private sector, we have lots of students who go on in academic research, and we send students out globally. Right? Students don't just stay in the United States, to do their work, we have graduates all over the planet. 